Hollywood is relatively small because it draws a very select group of people, people that really want to work professionally in the industry. So the competition is very small, but fierce. Maddie, your mom's not here. We all make choices. She chose to be away instead of being here with you. Melissa's not here at iHollywood. She's spending time with her boyfriend. All of those things that go into motherhood, those are the things that Melissa trusts me with her children. So the two of you are gonna be with me this week, and you may get to do things that everybody else doesn't get to do. Melissa not being here is weird. I mean, we're in Hollywood. She should be here with Maddie. So Chloe, you're going to be doing a solo as well as the group routine. And no surprise, Maddie, you're gonna be doing a solo this week. Now remember, you are undefeated. People are out to get you. You're the one to beat. I put Maddie back on top because we need to get back to winning. She is the glue that holds that group together. What about you? How are you feeling? The book and page being at the bottom. I'm not surprised that they're at the bottom just because of my argument with her. I think she thought I was, like, kidding when I said that, like, if my kids aren't doing a solo and she won't teach it to them, then I wasn't going to get somebody else to teach them a dance. I paid all this money to come here and she wants me to do a group dance. I don't think so. How are you going to do this? Like, what are you going to open up the yellow pages and look for, like, choreographers? Actually, I looked into some choreographers, and I found two that have really good credentials. A person can only take so much. And I think Kelly hit her breaking point. And you know what? Good for Kelly. She's got more courage than I do, because I don't know if I would have the nerve to do that. So hopefully it'll work out. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the girl okay. that, that we're going up against. Her name is Chloe, and Abby he holds a lot of stock in her. So here's the catch. I happen to have in my hand your solo music, which is gorgeous. Ooh. But I also happen to know that it's the same solo music that Chloe is using. It's no secret that you can go online and find out what the songs are that the contestants are dancing to. So I chose Chloe's song for Taylor just to psych them out. When I show up in Hollywood, that Abby Lee Miller is not gonna know what hit her. Hi, how are you guys? I want my kids to feel like they're special. It seems like every week that Maddie and Chloe are getting the best choreography and my kids get whatever's left over. And I'm tired of it. Kelly. Mike, it's so nice to meet you. This is my daughter, Paige. Hi, Paige. So this week in Los Angeles, I took it in my own hands and I'm hiring Paige, her own choreographer. I think Abby just kind of pushes her aside and I wanted to try to get her some better choreography that will work for her. Totally. We're really short on time. I think she's a little nervous about that. Well, we'll work at whatever pace you need, and I've danced with Lady Gaga, Kesha, Adam Lambert. So you're in good hands. Don't chug. Sickle back foot. I'm not stupid. I know what's going on behind my back. There's another choreographer right in the other room working with Paige. In the 30-plus years that Kelly's claimed to be at my studio, I've never completely trusted her loyalty. It kind of reminds me of Kathy's loyalty. One and two, three. I think that with Taylor going up against Chloe and having the same song, we've got a shoe in for a win. Five, six, seven, eight, turn it, one, two. Faster, turn. I was assigned a solo called Dream on a Star, and I want to have my big moment in LA, and I want to win pretty badly. But then I also have to remember I'm also having fun. All of your other solos are pretty and elegant. This is not the case, yes? Maddie is doing a contemporary piece called Disappear. You're being abused. You want to disappear. You don't want anyone else to know. And you're finished, and nobody knows you exist. Some would think it's too mature for an eight-year-old, but I think she's ready to handle this. It's really have to work it. That's the whole thing. Use your attitude. Use be sexy. The dance Mike was choreographing had a lot of body movement in it. It wasn't a lot of technique, and Paige just seemed a little tense, so I kept trying to get her to just loosen up and relax. Your body should move with the music. I think you're just scared of something. I don't know if you're scared of yourself, you're scared of Abby, you're scared of this choreography, because it's new and, like, not familiar to you. Not ready. I promise. <coughs>
Paige is upset for a few reasons. Um, she's upset that Abby's gonna be disappointed in her or mad at her for hiring another choreographer. And she's also upset that we have today to learn the dance. Who wants a mediocre kid? Every time one of my students step on stage, it's my name out there. They are representing me. But in this particular instance, you know what? Let Kelly go ahead. Let our kids represent her. Let's see where they get. <coughs> As soon as Paige stands on stage and forgets the choreography again, Kelly's gonna regret her decision. Surprise! Hi! Hello. Hi, everybody. What are you um, I have something for you. I do want to introduce you to somebody. This is Justice, and I would like you to be introduced to Taylor. Taylor is a three-time title winner. Can you tell them what titles you've won? Junior Miss Dynamite, Junior Miss Carr, and Junior Miss Dexter. I guess Kathy flew Taylor across country to go head to head against Chloe. God sakes, leave my kid alone. Bring it on, girlfriend, bring it on. We're going against them. Bring it, candy apples. How was that number, Paige? Did you learn the whole thing? Kelly made bad decisions. Bad parenting, once again, she's gonna go behind my back, try to bring in other choreographers, and it backfired on her. And now she's a mess and doesn't know what to do. I hired those choreographers yesterday. Right. And they didn't have enough time to finish their dances. You wanted an outside choreographer. I know that, Abby. You either need to pull out of the groups and go as an independent and do the numbers. Yeah, and prove but me if wrong, I was and they need, doing it. They need you to be every other 13-year-old, and she needs to be Chloe and Maddie. It's just blowing up in her face. I'm not doing it to my kids. I'm not. Don't cry. It's all your fault to begin with. Just, just pull the number. So Kelly pulls Paige's solo again. You know what, Kelly? Make up your mind. Do you want the kid to dance, or don't you? You have been consistent. You've been amazing. You've inspired me to be a better teacher. This is really important. Yes, this could be big things for the rest of your life. Yeah? Got it? Mm -hmm. Making me cry. How about if you do this dance for Mrs. Miller? Okay. I was very emotional. I looked at her and it just brought tears to my eyes and I welled up and I thought, kid, you can do this. You have what it takes. Go out there and just perform this number. Please welcome from the Abbey Lee Dance Company. This is Maddie and she'll be performing Disappear. helping Chloe change, and I hear Chloe's music. So I'm thinking, is she supposed to be on stage? Are they playing her music? Did she miss her call? Like, I'm very confused. What's up? That's your music. I think Kathy purposely did that to steal my thunder, I guess. Welcome from Abby Lee Dance Company. This is Chloe. <laughs> 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 Hush and I don't speak. 
watching Chloe dance more than anything, I want her to come off that stage and think to herself, I did the best that I can do. Come on, face. At this point, it's about Chloe's self-confidence, and I wanted her to come off that stage and feel good about herself. Hush. Second place, my throat like closed up. I was shocked, utterly shocked. I looked at the three judges who were giving out the awards and thought, what were you thinking? I thought I danced the best, but I was still happy with second place. When we went to another competition once, the girl that was against me didn't even make it in top 10. And everybody gets a chance to win, so I felt happy for the other girl. <laughs> 